uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, although the names of our mice association suggest that we are the small medians uh, in size, collectively, we are big, we form a substantial backbone of the economy, providing job and growth opportunity. And that is what members of SME of Malaysia do best. According to the data released by the Department of Statistics about a year ago, SME contribute 39.9% of Malaysia overall GDP in 2019, from 38.3% in 2018. In terms of value, SME GDP at constant 2015 price to at RM550, 2.3 billion against the total values of 1,421.5 billion. So we are not really small by the comparison. In 2019, SME employed about 7.3 million people, significantly significance in an increase of 3% from the previous year. This also represented 48.4% of the country employment for the country employment. As we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed all that. The pandemic has changed the way employer and the employee approach the working environment and the priority continue to shift. The business performance numbers may not be the rosy in 2020, even 2021. For example, a recent survey found that nearly 70% of Malaysian SME has experienced a 50% drop in business within a week of MCO2. But we must not leave things as they are, we must do something to arrest the decline. Or those SME are grateful for the pre hunting similar package and Benchana and wage subsidy program. We have a lot to do to help in the country economy recovery program. SME business are vital to the Malaysian economy as they are constitute over 98 percent or almost more than 1.2 million businesses establishment. Firms are looking to regain lost momentum by restarting hiring activity and restoring productivity. This is the time for SME to strategize business plan to ensure sustain, sustainable long-term growth by recruiting the right talents who will be key to realizing their business aspiration. Presently, almost 60% of Malaysian talents work for SME and majority of them expect to, to be given on the job training. Therefore, attracting employee and finding the right talents is a challenge task for company any size. However, SME also have the disadvantage of fighting the usual image of low pay, heavy workload for heavy workforce. While SME may not be able to offer as much as multinational or entrepreneurial, job straight recruiting firm say that it does not mean they cannot offer other financial benefit to keep employee whole. Pay them the salary they deserve. At interview, the basic issue that would be employee care most about are monthly income, health insurance, extra pay for workings on public holidays. No need that. I think SME uh, will create an environment like 
and family uh, environment so that they will work comfortably and they can learn more than we should work as a multinational company. Allowance and performance bonus means that greatly to work to working talents. Also, they need the right tool to make their career shift. Talents will be em employee look at the quality of career development opportunity when joining a new company. Basic promotions, they also look for mentorship, trainings, and outskill opportunity. For those in technical position, specific skill set trainings is imperative. SME looking to be especially competitive, competitive can also offer scholarship and subsidy to support higher education, have policy that promote a healthy work-life balance. While the, your team's player may be dedicated and enjoy their work, it does not mean they want to spend the majority of their time stuck at the workplace. They do not adequate break so they can rest and recharge. Annual leave is another highly soft, therefore, benefit. And nearly two thirds of talents working in similar enterprise saying that receiving empire and annual leave is a must. This is important to make employees feel secure in their job. Biggest company offer attract, attract talents by promising them stable stability, whatever SME offer, have to work harder to convince talent working for them will also be rewarding. Stability of high value by talented employee, regardless of company size. According to one survey, two thirds of their of them want to work in a permanent role, while 60% want to work for a stable and financially secure company. Smallest company that are financially secure should show job singer that their strong track record is also a sign of growth for the future. All in this, all, all in all, those comprehensive, comprehensive compensations package will go a long way to attract the right talents. I'm attacking, I'm attend, attracting to the other survey that show the most employees of SME are happy with their company despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Perhaps, perhaps the security of talents have elicited this feeling. But the same survey also dis discovered the, that two out of the three Malaysian employees are reporting high level of stress. Their concerns center around their financial situation. Less than ideal working arrangements and not having the right support to advance their career further. This is also which SME owner will have to pay greater attention from now on. Building trust and belief among the employee to make them feel better connected with their employee is very important. Trust and belief in the company and leaders will certainly motivate them to do better for company and customer. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the survey, Title Employment and Recruitment Trends for Malaysia SME. By Employment Hero, 87% of respondents say employee, employer should cultivate talents and provide the necessary support for employee growth. The survey reward that 58% of respondents say career growth is top consideration when looking at the job change while the other top motivator include work-life balance at 49% and more reward and 
vaccinations at 31%. Interestingly, 69% of Generation Y, Generation Z, and millennials say that a flexible working arrangement is critical. On the other hand, 85% of baby boomer, those aged 55 and above, express concern about the working arrangement post COVID. Over 52% of SME employee indicated the need of employer to be flexible and working arrangement, while 47% want additional financial support to improve their work-life balance. The survey also need note that 28% from Generation X is 35 years old to 40, 44 years old, and 23% of baby boomers who are typically resistant to change, indicated that flexi flexible work arrangement support as one of the top priority for them. Additionally, 62% of baby boomers place home-based office support as priority for 2021. In the regard, having digital tool for home office is a better way to provide support work from home employee. All those, this means that SME owner must seriously proactively think for the long term and put the most need, needed benefit in place for overall well-being for their workplace. Ladies and gentlemen, we, offer, we often hear about the need of embarrassed industry, embarking, embarrassed industry 4.0 in order to move forward. Whether SME in this country are ready, Industry 4.0 is about harnessing the latest technological advancements that put together computer automation to work in a special way. Industry 4.0 is said to offer competitive business tools to help firms to address challenges in the future with regard to aspiring of business models and equipment. The debate, particularly center on greatest automa automation in the manufacturing industry. But before we go into it, the government have to seriously look at the entire economy spectrums as well as issuing issue and questions on education, foreign labors, and what we want Malaysia to be in 2020 beyond. Do we have in place the educational set up to prepare our young to face challenge, challenges in a, in a more competitive world by them? And what about our labor policy? Do we encourage low-skilled workers and come to Malaysia so that we, not, we need not automate? What are the industries we want to promote to earn valuable foreign exchange and what do we do for our own people to have gamer employment? There are important methods that need our primary, primary attention if we want to remain competitive in the industry world. Unless we can answer those questions adequately and it will be fatal to debate that merit of Industry 4.0 or those on the paper and its several benefit. SME in Malaysia are seen as not receptive when it comes to aligning themselves to Industry 4.0. The government, I believe, know the challenge and it must be doing something fast. It cannot be denied that in the past few years, the government have taken significant steps to improve the domestic market environment for SME, besides stepping up competitiveness for SME by introdu introducing several grouping and incentives. Almost among the issues identified with the low implementations are the lower are the levels of awareness, innovations, innovation management the digital readiness and connectivity. 
the enhancements of the skill needed, expensive cost of startup, and best practice understanding. Given the above, the Malaysian government needs to do more, especially on innovation, a key factor for any company to absorb greater automation for stay competitive and relevant. Nurturing creativity to have a competitive advance can only happen if there is a solid, innovative culture amongst workers. Innovation is critical in any company to copy with sudden change and expectation. Malaysia still have a long way to go in terms of we have ranking 72 in the Global Innovations Index report. A shortest a shortage in human capital in Malaysia, greatest others to engage digital economy grow. According to the World Bank, the limit, limitation of digital literacy is offered since as primary obstacle to economy reform. Simply put, the education system and workforce training initiative in Malaysia have yet to fu fully prepare, adequate, qualified employees to fulfill the growth demands of the digital economy. We cannot overlook the important aspect of the labor equation. Industry in Malaysia are overly rely on semi and low skill employee, employee and foreign, foreign labors. The share of skill, semi-skilled worker is the highest is the highest at 62.3%, followed by the high skill workers, which is only 24.4%, consisting of people who are working in management, professional, and technology, technological role. And 30% is low skill worker. The ASEAN's productivity organization have even highlighted that the Malaysia SME would change to minimize their expenses by employing additional cheap labor to do basic trust rather than taking the risk to invest in advanced technology. Looking at the current scenario, SME in Malaysia are still not ready for industry 4.0 despite virus incentive and support provided by the government. The low, the low levels of awareness towards industry 4.0 among SME absence of innovation engagement is most in most small companies. Shortage of high skilled workers, limited resources and insufficient funding for advanced technology are among the challenges to hold by back SME. But at the end of the day, our survival depends on our ability to adopt the modern technology. This is what our SME company need seriously to rethink and reset our priority for the future. I think SME have to change their mindset to adopt technology and to train their staff for more skill and let go the, the mindset on the uh, low, low cost or low labor uh, incentive uh, in, intensive uh, industry, focus and upskill their operation into the technology and digitize their business. Thank you.